Hello and welcome to Monday. A few days ago we finished watching Full Metal Alchemist, the original 2003 series, and uh, we still had a little bit more to go, and that was this. Full Metal Alchemist, the movie Conqueror of Shambhala. So this is our Full Metal Alchemist, the movie Conqueror of Shambhala review. But then also a review as, uh, of the series as a whole. And when, when I say series as a whole, I'm talking about both of these things together. Because in my opinion, if you were to just talk about the, the series and not include the movie, then that's not the whole series. Yeah. Anyway, so we just finished watching the movie. And what are your initial thoughts, like gut reaction? Like, um, I liked it. it. Overall liked yeah, it. Yeah, overall liked it. I also overall liked it. It is, however, kind of weird. Yeah. It is kind of out there, um, which lines up a little bit with the fourth core of Full Metal Alchemist. That was out there. Because it was a little out there. And um, if, if you don't know anything about this, let me just start by saying that there will be spoilers in this video, but before you go, if you're clicking off because you're like, oh, there's going to be spoilers, let me just say Nazis. Let me just leave you with that word and you, and you can go, wait, what? Seriously, what a wild movie. Okay, now you can leave. For everything else, this will be spoilerific, I'm sure. Um, so I didn't know anything about this movie. Uh, the only thing that we've really learned in this last core of Full Metal Alchemist is, for one, it's things got really crazy really fast. Mm -hmm. And I also had said that I wish they would have extended the core to help explain things a little bit better because it's, it was a lot of information packed very densely, like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it got, in my opinion, a little confusing because there's all this really nutso stuff happening all at once. But um, for whatever reason, when the movie started and they started explaining stuff and they said Ed's been living in the real world, our world, whatever, for the last two years, I had an easier time accepting it. For whatever reason, just taking a few days between watching the last episode and watching the movie, the movie mm -hmm. it kind of, I guess I was able to like process it or something and, and I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I, I, I'm starting to understand this a little bit. So he's living in Germany and they're, they're basically on the cusp of World War II and He's living with Alphonse, not his Alphonse, but the Earth's Alphonse. Yeah, because everyone has like a double on the other world. And Alphonse is super into rockets and wants to do something with his life, but he has the sickness, which... They make a reference that it's the same as Azumi's sickness. Yeah, which isn't, which can't be because Azumi lost her organs. Yeah. Um... Azumi's dead, also, by the yeah. way. That's, they say that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Alphonse, Earth Alphonse is, like, sick or something. So, the movie is basically, to, like, sum it up very quickly and simply, it's about Ed and Al trying to find each other, trying to get back to each other, which was basically at the very, very end of... Full Metal Alchemist was all about was like, oh no, now they're separated. What's gonna yeah. happen? Watch the movie. Um, so it's it's about them trying to get to each other. Alphonse has become this crazy good alchemist. Um, and what what was cool was that for the first part of the movie, they're only showing Ed in on the Earth side, but then they start jumping back and forth, which I thought was really neat because we start getting a chance to see what has happened to the world in Where which, everyone else is <laughs> in the last few years. And it's been really neat. Like, Colonel Mustang has decided to take a post, like, in the... Crazy North and, like, isn't doing any alchemy, isn't doing anything. And Armstrong is helping rebuild Lior. Yeah. And, um, Jessica is back in the army. Yeah, she was, like, with the... Was she with them at the end of Fulman Aquas again? I don't remember. <laughs> but she was, like, back in, like, service or something. So, like... That was cool. Just to, just to, I don't know, it's weird because we just finished watching the show, but because it, there's been a time jump, it was interesting to see, like, oh, well, what's going on with everyone? The other cool thing that I really liked, and I feel like they did a really, really good job of, is because everyone on 
you know, their side has a double on Earth, you, there are there's so many cameos. Yeah. And a ton. there and, and that you can tell that they had fun with it. Because Pride, who was like the big bad homunculi or homunculus, homunculus in their world, um, is just this dude. Um, filmmaker. A filmmaker on the Earth side. And like he's good. You know, there's. They are not innately like bad or good. The homunculi is what made them yeah. bad or good, but the people were not. So you keep seeing all of these different faces, like Hughes is in there, you know, and it's just, you can tell that they had a lot of fun with that. Um, it, there's a few small cameos, like right at the end when yeah. they get in the car, Scar is driving the car. With lust. Um, yeah. And like, it's funny because like they, there's these little beats that they hit on that are really well done where like before you don't see who's driving the car and then you see um, Alphonse and Ed kind of come up and they go, oh, uh, and then they go, ah, ha, ha, and then it cuts to like Scar who doesn't know them yeah. and it's like, you know, so there's those little tidbits that make Even it like, really good. I wanted to say NPCs, extras. <laughs> there's all these little NPCs. Like these random people in crowds that are just like slightly yeah like other extras from the main series yeah no you're right and there's um but there's there's a bunch of times like that even yeah. um when the girl that brings lyra yeah brings uh ed, or like yeah tea or whatever so there's all these little things that, that make it fun um and eventually pat looking past that the the Nazi party is like getting gonna do its thing that happens in history. Yeah, they're they're gonna do their thing, and I gotta say, there's a really weird feeling when you've watched this anime. I, I've become pretty attached to Full Metal Alchemist. I've re I've really enjoyed the the show, and then you watch this movie, and like Ed is walking by, and there's characters in the background. They're like, I don't know about them Jews, and I'm like, what am I watching? Like. What is this show? But it, it actually, like, it was a pretty cool idea for a movie. Yeah, like actually historical things that happened and like... Historical about... things, historical characters, historical locations. Yeah. But also just the, the very strange but original premise of like, you know, the brothers... Germany before World War II? Well, I was going to say the brothers oh. on, on the other sides and there's a bunch of historical stuff happening yeah. and they're caught up in the middle of that. Like, it's actually kind of neat. It's ridiculous, but it is... Yeah. It is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I thought was weird, and I'm skipping over a lot of the movie because I'm not going to recap the entire movie, but the only thing I thought was really weird was that the movie is pretty long. It's an hour and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And in that time, you're, you're watching... You're, you're watching everything happen. It's kind of, it's not slow. They're explaining a lot, but I didn't know who the villain was. Yeah. Until all of a sudden, she's the villain. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, the whole thing is about opening this gate from one world to another. And on Earth's side, it, they, they're, it's the occult and demons and like mythology, and they're trying to open and get to Shambhala. Um, even though what they don't realize is that on the other side of the gate, it's just a world just like theirs, except instead of physics, know, physics alchemy is what yeah. you know took over. Um, so this woman, who we see occasionally, is like, we got to get there, but she never felt important. Yeah. And then suddenly she. I felt like she was like some underling to yes, some bigger boss, and exactly. then it turns out it's not. And then all of a sudden, she's through. Al. Um, Ed, Ed gets through the portal and he's on the other side and then she's through and she's got all these ships and it felt like it was happening really fast. Yeah. Like the it, there was a really good pace but it was a slow build up and then all of a sudden they're through on the other side and I'm like, oh, you're the villain. Okay, I uh, didn't really expect that but you know, all right. But when we find out that she is the villain, she's, she's come through the portal and she's like using this technology to destroy Central. Mustang shows up on the scene and he like starts throwing orders and there's a really cool moment of like, oh man, Mustang! And that was fun. Um, and then, honest to God, within, it it felt 
like within like three minutes that she was like dead. Yeah. And I was like, what happened? Because there was, the, the movie had, it, I really do feel like the movie up to that point had a really good pace. The pacing was good. It was it was like watching a really long episode of Full Metal Alchemist. There's a whole bit about getting the portals open, which was really cool, where like Wrath decided to kill himself in order to get rid of Gluttony, who um, has been really working out. Um, and Alphonse is able to, to open one side of the gate, and Ed opens the other side of the gate because his dad allows himself to die. Like there's so also there's so much blood. Yeah. They were super excited that they were a movie and they got to use blood or something because there's so much blood in the movie for no reason. Um, so they open up the gates. There's all these really cool parts, but it's flowing really good. And then when they finally get it open, the rockets come through and we learn that this woman is the villain. And I was like, all right. Then Mustang shows up and they basically, yeah. they fight her and they win like immediately. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, because I, I felt like we had been watching for a while, and I was like, man, I wonder how much more this is going to go on. But then they, they kill her, and that's basically it. Yeah. The whole thing, after she gets through the portal, from the time she gets through to the time they take care of her, is like three minutes. That's like the big conclusion. And then Ed is like, you know, the only way I'm going to be able to put peace to the world and stop this fighting is if I go back through the gate and destroy you know, my side of the the entrance. And Al is like, what are you doing? What we have spent years trying to get back together and now we're back together and you're gonna leave. And Ed's like, I gotta do it. And I saw that happening and I was like, part of me was, was worried that, you know, they, that was actually gonna be like that mm -hmm. because Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't put it past the yeah. the show. Like, the show has done really crazy, awful things. And uh -huh. I was like, I, I th this is actually how this is going to end. But when they get to the other side, and Ed is like, I had to say goodbye, then we find out that Al actually was a stowaway, and he's on the other side. So both him and Al are on Earth, and they don't have alchemy, etc. Unfortunately that is only a slight step above a crummy ending. Because what happened is, you know, there's all these moments with Winry. Like who, Ed dreams about her at some point. Early like, on, yeah. Ed, early on Ed is dreaming about Winry. And then, cause he's like talking in his sleep and mentions Winry. And then later on, whenever he first gets there, she embraces him and then she fixes him up. And then later he leaves. And I was like, what? And then they have a shot of Winry. Yeah. Um, as he's going up in the rocket, and she's just like, that's Ed. And I'm like, wow. But then I kept holding out hope that maybe they would at least give, basically give viewers what they want. Because they want everyone to be together and they want there to be a peaceful, resolved, and happy ending. And he went up, and I kept waiting. And then the final shot in the movie before the end credits roll. The last shot is we see Ed and Al, they're reunited and they're like, you know, Ed's like, why did you come here? And he's like, I got Colonel Mustang to close the gate on our side, so it's cool, bro. I just want to be with you and travel. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. I mean, everything that you've studied your entire life doesn't work in this world, but okay. So then they're doing their thing. And then we come back, we come back to their world and we see the auto mail shop and Armstrong's there and it's like, oh, we're all characters. Then it goes into Winry's room and she looks like defeated. She's just sitting there like kind of like playing with the dog's paw. And that that's the last shot of the movie. And then it zooms in to a picture on the bulletin board behind her of the brothers. Cut to credits, the end of Full Metal Alchemist. And I was like, oh my God, like that's, and on some level, I respect media for not giving people what they want and giving them some sort of different thing. But like, that's not yeah. a good feeling because, especially because I feel like they led you on because there's so many times throughout the series where it feels like there's this chemistry between Winry and Ed. And then like, 
when he's like, well, I gotta go back to this other world, like, you know, Al and Mustang take care of this. He's like, well, what about Winry? And he's like, well, bye. <laughs> oh, boy. It Did just, he have a response to that? I don't know. It, it just... I, I actually, and I want to make sure that I, I make it clear that I, overall I really yeah. did enjoy the movie because I thought that it was a really interesting idea and up until up until the rocket came through to their side of the world, mm -hmm. up until that point I was like super on board with the movie. Yeah. I was like, there's really cool stuff happening. I agree. And then once that happened I was like, this is a little weird. And then I was like, oh, it's over. And I was like, oh, he's going back. Oh, oh Al's there. Oh wait, the movie's ending. Oh my god, the credits are rolling. Like, all that stuff happened right at the end. But up at that point, I really liked it. Yeah, um, I agree. So now, looking from the very beginning of Full Metal Alchemist all the way to the very end of that movie, judging the series as a whole, how, I did, liked it. how did you feel? You liked it? I don't think it's my favorite anime I've seen, but I, I liked it. I see why people like it. I also really enjoyed it. I enjoyed... I enjoyed the show, I think, more than the movie. The movie I enjoyed more is like a standalone thing. Yeah. I think I would have appreciated the movie... Well, that that's not true. I was going to say, I, I almost wish the movie was a standalone thing that was unrelated to the series, but I enjoyed too much it being the end of the series. Yeah. Like, the fact what that What they it, did with it. Yeah, the fact that it actually was related. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that the character, like, when you finish watching the show, you're like, oh my god, what happens? And then you watch the movie and you're like, oh, that's what happens. Even if it's not what you wanted to happen, yeah. at least that's some sort of finishing thing. Um, but I overall, I really liked the series. I really did. Um, I, I feel like I probably enjoyed the... I don't know, I want to say the, the beginning and middle parts more, but... Even that in, into the end stuff, even when it started to get a little convoluted in the last ten episodes, I, re I still really enjoyed it. I thought it was thoroughly entertaining, like, non-stop. Yeah. Uh, it was always entertaining, even if it was sometimes hard to follow, and I was like, okay, what? Now there's, okay, so there's a parallel universe. Okay, boom. And also, oh, you switch bodies. Oh, okay. And you're 400, you're, okay. And your dad's name is actually Hohenheim of Light. Okay, what? Like, even though all that stuff was happening, like, I still, I never didn't enjoy the show. Yeah. Yeah. So having said all that, we like the show, mm -hmm. but we also have seen Full Metal Alchemist. We have not watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is what we are going to be watching in the near future. Not next. We're going to take a break from FMA and watch, we don't know yet, but something else. And then we're going to come back to Full Metal Alchemist and watch Brotherhood. And the thing that's going to be interesting is that Brotherhood is the, the anime adaptation of the manga completely. Whereas Full Metal Alchemist is only an adaptation of the manga for the first half and then they did their own thing with it. And some people would criticize that and say then it, then it's not the real thing, which is baloney. Like, if someone takes something and they make it and you personally find it interesting or you find it better than whatever the source material was, then it's its own thing. You can enjoy it. Um, so if you like the 2003 version of Full Metal Alchemist more, then good, you know. Uh, but I'm really curious to find out what Brotherhood's all about. Yeah, because I haven't seen anything of Brotherhood. Like, I know kind of like, you know, it's the adaptation of it, but... Well, the first little bit of it is going to cover the first half of what we saw. Yeah. So up until, like, Hughes dying, I think, and them getting on the train, I think that is covered in the first little bit of Brotherhood, and then... It's a different story, and honestly, I'm kind of worried in a little, a little ways because I'm, I'm kind of worried that I'll get confused. That we'll be watching the show, and I'll be expecting something to happen when obvious. Like it, it, it could be very different. Yeah. There might be completely new characters. The characters that we know could be like go in different, different directions. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. But we will be talking about Brotherhood at some point in the near future. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can talk about Conqueror Shimbala below and also, obviously, the entire series of Full Metal Alchemist. But not the Brotherhood. But not Brotherhood. Please, don't do that. Um, and we're looking forward to getting around the Brotherhood and seeing what all the hype is about. Um, from my interactions with you guys and the internet in general, it seems like 
a lot more people prefer Brotherhood. And a lot of people, it's not that they even dislike Full Metal Alchemist, yeah. the original. They just say, you know, it's not bad, but Brotherhood is better. So I guess we'll get a chance to make that decision for ourselves. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?